What's going on YouTube? So today I want to talk to you guys about Far Cry 4 and whether or not it will suck. But before we get started, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. It will really help my channel. And let's jump right into it. So basically the story is about a guy named AJ Gale who returns to Kairat, which is Ubisoft's fake um, little area in Southeast Asia. It takes place in the Himalaya, so you kind of have that snowy mountain area. But then you also have a more of a jungle um, place. It kind of has a wide variety of different um, surroundings, which is kind of cool. And he goes there to scatter his mother's ashes after she has passed away. But as he gets there, he gets caught up in a little civil war with resistance. And then the king, who is named Pagan Min, which is the main um, villain in the game. And in case you don't know about Far Cry, it's a completely open world, which is really sweet. And Far Cry 4 will be about the same size, maybe a little bit bigger than the previous Far Cry 3. And it, the thing about Far Cry 4 is it looks inhabitable. It looks like this is a place, an actual place where people would actually live. Unlike Far Cry 3, it just, the environment Far Cry 3 just didn't feel like, it didn't really feel like I was actually there. But Far Cry 4 makes it more immersive, which is a very good plus for the game. Um, another thing that the Ubisoft is really pushing for this game is they have tons of animals. Far Cry 3 had a lot of animals in it too, but now you have a more interactive experience with the animals, such as the elephant that you can ride and attack all the villains and the enemies and stuff like that. Um, you can shoot it and it can attack them, but you have to be watch out because it can always attack you too. Another thing, another big thing that they're adding this time around is co-op which was a really highly requested feature that they add so now you can do different missions you can break into these zones and with a friend which is really cool and also if you have a PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 3 you can actually play with a friend that doesn't own the game you actually get these little tickets that you just tell a friend to give them and you can actually play the co-op just the co-op not the story or anything like that with a friend without buying the game which is kind of cool and also, if they start playing it, they might like it and actually buy the game, which is kind of a good promotion for Ubisoft, too. This game is coming out for all systems, um, previous gen, um, current gen, and stuff, and also PC. And if you get on a PS4 and Xbox One, they're targeting a full 1080p, 30fps. But obviously, if you have a PC, it just depends on your specs. You can run it at like 4K, 60fps, whatever. But it mainly depends on your rig. Um, this game looks a lot of fun. Um, previously, up until now, I wasn't too excited for it. I probably wasn't going to buy the game. But now that a lot of people have been playing it, I've been seeing more gameplay and their impressions. It looks like a lot of fun. I'm definitely going to pre-order it when I can and download it. So I definitely will buy it. And I will be posting a review. So in case you guys want to subscribe for that. Um, to see my review and first impressions on the game, I definitely will be. So leave me down in the comment section below whether or not you're interested in the game and your thoughts on Far Cry 4. And if you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.